Here's how you can transport your viewers back in time by adding a vintage filter to your video. Start by heading over to clipchamp.com and then log in or create your free account. I've put the link in the description below. Once logged in, you'll be taken to the homepage where you'll click on the create a new video button. Then you'll be taken straight into the editor. The first thing you'll need to do is import the media you want to add the filter to. Do this by navigating over to the import media button, selecting the asset and hitting open. It will load into your media library over here. Now add your asset into the timeline by dragging and dropping it in just like this. Next, to add a vintage filter to your video, click on the video in your timeline. It will highlight in green so that you know it's selected. Then navigate over to the property panel and click into the filters tab. You can then go ahead and hover your cursor over all of the different options we have available. This will allow you to preview which one suits your vintage video aesthetic. Our favorite vintage options are retro, 35 mm old western, and black and white. Then when you found the one that you want to use, simply click on it and it will apply the filter to your video. You can then adjust the intensity of the filter by dragging the intensity slider left or right until you're happy with the look of your video. Lastly, if you're editing a longer video with multiple video clips and you want the vintage filter applied to all of them, you can easily do this at the same time with our multi-edit tool. Simply hold the shift key on your keyboard and then click on the assets you want to select. Or to select them all, just hit Command A. You'll then follow the same steps as before by navigating over to the filters tab in the property panel, selecting the filter you want to use, and then it will apply to all of the clips at the same time. Once you're completely happy with your video, export it by heading over to the export button, selecting your video quality, and then once the export is complete, hit save to your computer and it will download straight to your device all ready for you to share. And that's how you can add a vintage filter to your video with Clipchamp. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos.